welcome back. Good to see you. I want to talk about a process that I use when to exit when a trade goes wrong. This is on a Tuesday uh, CL trade. If you don't know CL is a thin market, I'm still learning its auction. And I caught this trade on my lunch break at work. It just happened to plop in my lap. It's kind of like finding a 20 on the, on the walk in the work, you know. So I entered with four lots at 7502. I had a very tight stop at 7494. I sold two at 7514 to get risk neutral and uh, probably cover my commissions. Uh, I sold uh, third lot at 7533 and I had a target near VWAP at 7560. And for those who uh, aren't trading CL, uh, the micro version is a dollar per tick and the full size contract is ten dollars per tick. So let's take a quick look. <clears throat> Over here I entered at 75.02 and scaled, like I said, at 72.14, uh, right up in this area. And you can see. I sold that third lot at 75.33 and you can see my target was up here in the VWAP. Now, if, what happened, though, right after I entered, uh, or right after I got the third uh, lot sold, I uh, had a little bit of a run-up, and then the trade started to turn. The good news is I had a plan for this setup. Uh, at this point, I was all about saving my profits. I wasn't about trying to hit the full run, so I wanted to protect my profit. That's where my mind was in my process. So for me, the process for placing a stop is to identify where the trade fails. And after that, I identify the best stop placement so I don't accidentally get stopped out by a stop run and then it turn. So that's why it's important to, to determine where the trade fails. After a move, then the trailing stop, once again, has to be identified where the trade fails. Um, and that's going to be below the structure. We'll talk about that in just a second. And identify the best stop placement. Once again, that's under that structured potential stop run. So let's take a look. So here, once again, is where I entered. It kept coming up to this area, and we finally got our third scale right there. And we pulled back, we pulled back, and then we made a move. Now, once we made this move, I wanted to be protect my profit. I had three uh, lots already sold, so I didn't want to give any of that back. So here is where I determined that 7518 was where the trade went wrong. We had this test, we had this test, we had this test. So it told me that anything below 7525-ish range was going to be where the trade failed. And then I gave myself a little bit of wig room, wiggle room for the stop. So it went up, pulled back. Now notice this big ball. I want you to pay attention to that come back to that in a minute and then we sold down here to 7518 hit my stop and then it went down to my entry so did I make a good move or not remember that big volume ball that large vol cell volume alerted me to something had changed uh, I could have closed earlier with more profit and was was part of my evaluation was that the best stop for me and uh, in hindsight I would probably have done that trade over uh, and and sold in the uh, 30s instead of waiting for 18 but like I said I have a process where does the trade fail the trade failed at 7518 for me and you can see it continued to sell off so I got out I protected my profit I had a nice profit for that because of uh, all of my uh, risk management there. And as you can see, I could have had a little bit more at this big volume ball, and that's going to be part of my evaluation. If I see a big volume like that, do, do we close the trade? And that might be the case there. We'll see. Uh, we'll do a little bit of vetting on that, uh, testing to see what happens. If you like what you see, thanks again. Subscribe, like, hit that bell. Keep getting these notifications, these videos that I make. I do a live stream every day. I do uh, trade reviews like the one you're seeing right now, and I also train, uh, make training videos like on stop runs, absorptions, stop sweeps, all kinds of good stuff like that. So come on over to our live interactive daily stream, ask a question if you have to, check out our Discord, happy to help out any way I can. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. 
thanks to Bookmap and Tom B for their uh, their insight over the f last few months. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you again. Appreciate you and have a great time. See you next time.